Friends, is it really best for us to just have no real emotion in our prayer life? Is, is that really the best way? If that's the case, then why are there are so many laments in the Bible? You see, the Hebrew lament is part of our heritage, and we have to actually take that up. Again, this is a, a new chapter in the latest edition of A Praying Life by Paul Miller, and it gives us a, a template of how laments actually work. And in, in the first, you know, in, in the first case, what happens, the first thing that happens is that we actually express our emotions. And then we turn to God with hope in his power. And, and we move on to remember that our God works wonders. And then we may actually quiet down a bit and recognize our own sin and turn away from it and submit to God and perhaps end telling God again about our desperate condition. Remember, desperation uh, leads us into prayer. So this is, this is very biblical for us. And you know, it's based on the past promises of God, the present chaos we may be feeling in our lives, and a sense of true future hope. So this is a very faithful thing to do. Now, we have to distinguish this from grumbling that is rebellious, that often doesn't talk to God, just talks to others. That's not good. But a lament no, a lament should be part of our prayer life. God bless you, friends.